Portland's breakwater fort is the most imposing of the structures built to defend what was the world's largest man-made harbour. The breakwater itself was built with millions of tonnes of Portland stone and used the back-breaking labour of thousands of prison convicts to defend the ships of the world's greatest navy. The Breakwater Fort is the largest of several forts built at the outer edge of Portland Harbour and is the most imposing with iron armour 20 inches thick and it took 25 years to build. 30 men would have been stationed on the fort at any one time, sheltered by the bomb-proof iron roof and armed with 38-ton guns which were fed with ammunition stored deep inside the fort. It's one and a half miles from Portland Harbour out to the Breakwater Fort which was built when Britain's military might was at its height in the 19th century. The fort itself was built between 1868 and 1875 to defend the Portland Harbour. It is located on the outer breakwater of the harbour and has been Grade 2 listed since 1978. Today the fort is not open to the public and remains derelict. The fort was designed by Captain E. H. Stewart of the Royal Engineers the circular fort was first planned in 1859. It was built as a result of the Royal Commission to guard the new Portland Harbour and the Royal Navy institutions on the island. Due to subsidence, the fort was constructed on a granite base some 200 foot or 61 metres in diameter, which was laid down on the seabed. The main floor consists of gun rooms and ports for 14 heavy guns. Below the gun floor are the shell and cartridge stores and engine rooms. The fort also has its own harbour and ancillary barrack block. The cost of building the fort back in the 1860s and 1870s was £75,968. In 1892 the fort was installed with seven 12.5 inch cannons and these were replaced in 1907 by two 6 inch guns and two 12 pounder guns. During World War I it was armed with two 6 inch Mark VII guns. During World War II the fort was used as an examination battery. It was reduced to care and maintenance by 1945 and abandoned in 1956. In 1995, the Dulcet Sculpture Trust attempted to gain a grant from the Millennium Fund to turn the site into an arts centre. Today, the site is completely abandoned and is deteriorating significantly. However, it's an interesting site to visit, and if you get a chance to visit it on one of the boat trips from Weymouth or Portland at any time, it is well worth a visit.